Hello, I'm Eva Jones. Why I didn't report was a viral hashtag in the fall of 2018. During the Brett Kavanaugh Supreme Court nomination hearings, our president doubted the legitimacy of a sexual assault because the survivor came forward to report 35 years after the attack. A storm of survivors took to Twitter to share why they didn't report. In a country with high rates of sexual misconduct in dismissing women, it is easy for girls to feel powerless. With misogynistic forces and inherent rape culture, it's no wonder survivors fail to report their assault. Hood River Valley High School is not immune to these problems. The following video contains real stories from sexual assault and rape survivors from Hood River Valley High School, many of whose attackers are also students here. These are their stories of why they chose not to report. I created this in hope that I can help illustrate why survivors don't report in our society and to expose the treacherous realities girls face. I am pleading this of every American. Believe survivors. Stop this behavior in your nation, your home, your schools and government administration. This is why HRV didn't report. Last Christmas, I was raped. I wasn't dating the boy who assaulted me. We had in the past and discovered it didn't work out well. The two of us were good friends though. We started to get close again around a month or two before Christmas when I fell victim to a car accident. I could barely move by myself, so he stepped up to help me. For those months, he aided in taking me places and doing simple things I wasn't able to do. This led us to become great friends again and got us used to having each other around. I trusted him. And I shouldn't have. We were at his house. This was the second year I spent sitting around the Christmas tree with his whole family. We played games together, open presents, sang carols. I love them like my own family. And they felt the same about me. After hanging out with his family, we went to his room. For a month we'd been doing this. He would help me lay down, and then we would watch movies together. After the movies, he would sit me back up, because I was unable to do this myself, and I would leave. However, this day ended differently than all the others. In the middle of the movie, he got on top of me. I was confused about what was happening. He started to kiss me and touch me, and I was trying to decide if I even wanted the kissing when he got his pants off. I begged him to stop. I, I couldn't move very well in general. And when you have a man twice your size on you, it becomes the most difficult struggle of your life. I told him, no, I didn't want it. Even with my begging, he continued to do what his mind was set on. He raped me. Once he finished, he rolled off and apologized. He said he couldn't help himself. He said he couldn't control himself. The only thing going on in my mind was I needed to leave. I had to leave. He sat me up in bed. I pulled myself together and walked out of his room. I walked out of his front door after hugging his mother goodbye and thanking his dad for an amazing Christmas but I walked out of his front door with blood running down my legs too. As soon as I got into my car, I began to sob. I knew I would never enter that home again. While driving back to my house, I ran the scenario through my mind. Every move he and I made, I questioned if I had done enough, if I could have done more, if I brought it on to myself, if I made him think it was okay. I had done everything possible to stop it. 
When I got home, I went to my bathroom to clean up. My legs were stained red. In between my legs, I could feel a tear in me. I hadn't been turned on. He ripped me open to make himself feel good. I struggled as I cleaned, tears streaming down my face like the blood between my legs. Finally, I redressed and headed to my family get-together. That night, I acted as if nothing had happened. I kept it to myself. From then on, I always kept it to myself. I never reported what he did to me last Christmas. My mental health plummeted. I couldn't focus on school. Every other day, I had to face my assaulter in class. His smirk, his happiness. I wanted to die. My physical health wasn't well either. He ripped me. I still can't use tampons without hurting because of the pain he caused me. Because he couldn't control himself or help himself. I'm now scared for my life when around boys. Even those I date, with one wrong move or statement I could trigger and leave me bawling. Mentally and physically, I struggle daily. Numerous reasons flood my mind when I think about why I didn't report and still haven't. The big one is that my parents don't believe in sexual assault. They view it as the woman shouldn't have brought it upon herself. It's always her fault. I'm worried that my family would view me as less of a person if I told them what happened to me last Christmas. It's difficult to report when you're worried your family will not love you once they know or might kick you out of your home. Another reason I didn't report was because of the pain and disgrace I know would be brought on his family. These people I looked at like my own blood they treated me with respect and love. I never wanted to put them through the horrible journey of calling their son a rapist. I loved them too much. Lastly, I cared about that boy for years. He was a best friend to me, someone who understood me in my life, someone that was there for me in time of need. Now, I view him as a rapist, a horrible human being, but I still can't bring myself to hurt that boy I once knew and loved. I hate myself for not having the courage to come out and tell my story. So please, if you feel safe enough to speak out, do it. Every time I read a survivor's story, I know there is hope for me and those who have had this happen. There are people who will back you and love you no matter what. Because of my family and the damage he has left in my mind, I am unable to. But that is why I didn't report. But, there were, but I will always praise and stand behind those who are strong enough. Because I was in fifth grade. Because I was 10 years old and he was my stepdad. He was abusive, and I was scared he would hurt my mom and me. Because I didn't have a ride home after sports practice. Because I thought everyone would hate me. He was the only one around, and I was raped. Because it was my mom's boyfriend the first time. Because she blamed me, called me a slut when she found out. He was older and cooler, and I knew they'd take his side and call me a slut and say it was my own fault for drinking. Because after I was pushed into a bathroom to be subsequently assaulted and hospitalized due to the bullying I endured, the police yelled at me. His family is well known in Hood River, and it's scary talking about what I've been through and trying to make anyone believe me. Because I wasn't in school and didn't know who to go to or what to do. Because after I was hospitalized, put into foster care, finally felt safe enough to share, I was brushed under the rug ignored and invisible. The third time, it was my friend's brother. I went to the hospital and got a rape check, but when asked to say his name, I couldn't do it. Because when I was a freshman, an upperclassman TA shoved his hands down my pants in class during a movie. 
I brushed it off and let it happen because I was so used to it. It became normalized. Because I was scared. Because I was scared he would hurt us more. Because when it happened again, my sister and his girlfriend decided we weren't going to tell anyone because she wasn't documented and I had to take one for the team. Because I did report it and was yelled at, ridiculed, and forced to relive trauma after trauma. I made a decision not to say anything, not to break their family. I didn't want to fuck up my friend's life, even though I could have gotten justice for myself. Because after two years, I worked up the courage and I did report it, and the police dropped the case because it was in the past. So I had to go to school with him, my friend who sexually assaulted me. I didn't report because I think it's my fault. I deserved it. I shouldn't have worn those clothes. I shouldn't have made him think that it was okay. I shouldn't be mad at him. I thought it was my own fault too. I was way too worried about people at school knowing, so I brushed it off and pretended I was fine. Even though I'm not, I don't want people treating me like I'm broken. That's, That's why I didn't, why I didn't report. report. That's, That's why, why I, I didn't, didn't report. report. Why I didn't report.